Uh, so, um, ooh, Greece. Uh, so the um, the the sales over. Winter sales over. But I guess the video is going to be about the games I was able to pick up before the end of the sale, and all the games I purchased are under twenty dollar budget. Let's go. Welcome back, guys, to Kai Tally's Lab on YouTube. Once again, we're here again with the, I call it, last chance to get an awesome game for on sale on Steam video. That was too long of a title, wasn't it? Well, this is the last chance to get a good deal on the winter sales ending, uh, well, right now it's midnight, so it's ending tonight. When this video goes live, will be the last day to get some good sales. So what I've done here is I've made it easy here. On my wish list, I have all these games, so the games right here, look at that, look at these games, that are really, really, really cheap. But they're really cool in content. So I'm gonna go around here, look at these games. I have some I do want to get right away. Some I recommend. Some I may not pick up, but I might just say, you know what? Like this quirky game, go ahead and pick it up and do it. So this is what we're gonna do here. We're going to go step by step. Look at the games, pick them up, put them in the cart, add it. I don't really have a budget here. I won't have a big budget because I'm not gonna buy a lot of big budget games. We're saying. But here we go, let's get it. First game, Overture. This is like a crazy bullet hell, uh, I'm gonna say, think of like Binding of Isaac with more pixelation and more chaos. Imagine that. So this game I put on my list a while ago. I think, like, well yeah, three years ago. I haven't even picked it up yet. I was a good boy. See, I am disciplined when I try to buy games on Steam. Sometimes, not all the times. So this is the one I do wanna pick up. It's 49 cents, you know, I, even if I don't play it, I know it's 49 cents, it's like that small, it used to be five bucks, 90% off, that's not let's pick it up, let's get it. Also, what's cool with this game is that you can get one for yourself and free for your friends. If you're a good friend, you'll buy this four pack. Or you hate your friends. You don't you hate your friends. Do you? No. Of course not. Castle of No Escape 2. This game reminds me of Zelda. So if you love Zelda, old school, um, roguelike type games, you'll enjoy this game. It's only $1, not even $1, 99 cents. Again, 90% off of a $10 price tag, which is not that bad of a game to pick up. A lot of these games are games you scroll by like, oh yeah, I'll pick it up for $1, I'll play it one day. But you almost probably never play it, but you probably will if you enjoy this type of game. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yes to this for now. Put it in the cart. It's very cheap. It's under one dollar. Why not pick it up? Let's go. Bob was hungry. I revisited this game again after three years. Again, three years. You'll notice a lot of these games have been on here for a very long time. Or I think in three years, probably it was on here. No, no. I, I did this last year. My bad. There we go. Last year. Sorry. Looking at the actual release date and the add-on date last year it was a pretty old school game this one was it's pretty funny it's about a big blob that rolls through different mazes and uh it's a puzzle game it's a co-op game as well think of super meat boy it's kind of like that difficulty so if you're if you're cool with that and it's not kind of difficulty semi-platformer you'll enjoy it me i'm gonna take a pass pixel gladiator this is the one I was interested in uh, last year, but I didn't pull the trigger. I don't think I will right now, but if you love these kind of um, pixelated, old school style indie games, still in early access. It came out in September, 2017. It's a platformer tower defense game. I didn't know it was tower defense. So I think we already talked about that last video, but if we didn't yet, then yeah, I, I don't think it's Ninja Senki DX. I scrolled right past this game in the last video, if you, if you checked it out. Like, how can I scroll past this game? I watched the video again. I think it's Plenty Games or is, is Get Any Gaming, one of those two. I put down there in the, in the last video, the description below where to find those two awesome YouTubers. Follow them, subscribe to them, they're fantastic. This game looks pretty cool. It's it reminds me of kind of like a old school platform 8-bit game on a Nintendo or SNES. Reminiscent of Mega Man. So if you look at Mega Man, you pretty much enjoy this game through and through. I'm gonna pick it up. It's one dollar. Why not? Don't care if it's two years old or not, three years old now, because you know. New Year! Here we go. Super Win the Game. And this is a game I will want to buy. It's one dollar and fifty-nine cents. It's so super cheap. Uh, this game 
it'll be one of those games I pick up and play when I'm, I guess I'm bored, or if I'm just like, you know, sitting back, maybe I'm up at night. Um, but this game's cool. It's old school. Uh, wouldn't say it's Dungeon Crawler game, but old school action adventure. Fits into the whole, uh, like Mario type platforming. This game's pretty cool. It's old school, Metrovania, platformer. Those two, I guess, go hand in hand with me. I love those kind of games. I played it when I grew up. Um, and the graphics look, graphics look like it's being played on an SD TV. Remember how cool those were? Before you got 4K and HD and 8K coming along the way? Exactly. Some you don't. But if those to do, you're awesome, fantastic. Get this game. I will right now. Let's go. Ooh, another game I passed up on the last video. The Long Reach. This one is a psychological horror game, which I love. It, it, of course, indie game as well. Uh, this one is what if you have the Cold Fall, where you go through like a side-scrolling adventure, mysterious horror game where you solve certain puzzles and certain or hidden crimes inside of a, I guess like a laboratory, I want to say, a hospital, laboratory, hospital, slash, whatever. Uh, this game looks pretty spooky, and spooky, dark, ominous games that where you yield only like a flashlight or something that were minimal light to try to battle enemies. That Willow will not get inside your head. I'm all for, I'll pick it up. It's $2.99, three bucks, 80% off. Let's do it. Look at that. Five games under $10. This really can double as a new video. Kai searched for games in a winter sale under $10, but let's not say that too soon because I bet you anything, the total games will be over 10 bucks, but that's not a bad thing anyway. Let's continue on with the game. Bye, shall we? You know, I'm buying this game. I'll pick it up. It's eight years old, but it's still fresh because I just saw this other game I do want to check out called Indie Pogo. Pogo? Pogo Pogo? Anyway, it was an Indie Pogo because Pogo sounds cooler and it's old school retro 90s and I love Pogo sticks. I want one actually. Kind of but uh, this game, uh, whether you pronounce it VVVVVV or just or V or so many V's I can't stop saying V. Either way, it's cheap. 75% off, $1.24. It's a very tough puzzler, maze type game. Metrovania is a platformer where, where gravity does not agree with you. You go upside down, inside out, back and forth, left and right by jumping on platforms and avoiding spikes. That's where the bees are, I believe. The bees are, sorry, bees are like spikes. Why not? Pick it up, it's random. Bam! Ooh, 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 the, the subject. A game I try to avoid only because it's so damn spooky. But I have it on my list. I added it to my list last month. So many ways. It's one of those games you have to get. You gotta, gotta, gotta pick it up. It's scary. It's horror. It's sci-fi. It's two of my favorite genres of all time in books, movies, and games. I gotta pick it up. It's the premise of the subject is you're trying to survive on a ship. You're being tested. You're a test subject as a, the subject. You are the test subject of someone and you have to survive getting off the ship. So if you survive, I guess, kind of like Ex Machina, if you survive, Getting out of the building, you win the game. So I'm not sure how far we have to go to win this game. And it'd be great kind of game to play and stream for a horror theme. Okay, I want Bleed 2, but I feel kind of guilty not buying Bleed 1. When I saw Bleed 1, I wasn't that interested in it. Bleed 2 had a lot more, uh, a lot more content, a lot more, a lot more awesome mechanics. Cool at boss fights and faster pace and the better polish. So we'll just skip this for now. Even though it's 50% off. If you love Bleed One and play the Bleed One, if you love uh, those kind of platformer, fast paced shooting, shoot 'em up, side scroller games, like with the old school feel, this game's for you. Bleed Two's for you. Get it. This game is absolutely adorable. It makes sense why it's overwhelmingly a positive because let me tell you, Rocco One is about a boy who's hospitalized. Okay. I guess he's slipping away slowly, which is kind of, it's pretty sad. And what happens is, uh, I guess the mom goes through, uh, goes to his subconscious and walks a mile in his footsteps, right? And I guess lives out their last moments of life. 
both good and bad because this game kind of has a little scary element in it but it's a very nice rich storytelling game puzzle game you gotta get through certain things you know and solve certain puzzles i guess it's always in the kid's mind so it's this game is pretty much about coping with death it's gonna be a heart-wrenching experience and it kind of reminds me of it reminds me of the game to the moon i haven't played it yet but i heard it's very sad and i heard it's heart-wrenching and this kind of sounds kind of like that so you know what for half off i'm gonna pick it up it's five bucks or 4.99 let's do it so far, so far we have raccoon we have the subject the long reach super win the game ninja senki or senkai dx Castle of No Escape 2 and Overture. This is gonna be it for the video. We are under $20. So I guess the video will be titled uh, Be Best Last Minute Games to Pick Up Under $20. It's a long title, it's okay, it's fine. Love this video, guys. Be sure to give it a lovely subscribe, all right? Share it with your friends, your family members, everyone, your cat. My cat's not here right now, so she's not gonna appear in this video, but imagine I hold my cat up like this and you see my cat and you smile. See, now like. Like the video. I'm also on, mostly on Twitch. So twitch.tv slash Kitality, where I am Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday nights, uh, long, long on Friday nights. And currently I'm only diving into indie style games. Okay, if you love that, love this, love you, then like, subscribe. I'm in Kitality on Kitality Lab on YouTube, guys. We had a great time here. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Keep being awesome. Peace out.